Hello and welcome back to the Master League save, my friends. It's great to have you back here and we are playing the final game of the season against Nottingham Forest. It's a complete dead rubber because we've got promotion to the Premier League. We're going to be in the big time next season back in the Premier League where Aston Villa belong. I will say that I'm not a Villa fan, but I do believe that is where Aston Villa belong. We have a chance to give some of the young guns a bit of a run out in this game if they're fit and healthy. So Isobe will come in for Garcia. What I want to do is see how we play without our lone players here. So no Weir, no um, uh, Abraham, just in case, you know, just in case we can't get any of them back next season. So that will give St uh, Scott Hogan a run out as well. We will give it a Sobi, Moreno still here, Kabai still here, Mohamedy still here. But if, how is El Ghazi doing in today's world? He's doing okay. He's got a bit, a little bit more stamina. Let's give Green a go on the left wing as well. It's dropping our team chemistry quite dramatically. Um, Sergei Sampo is just absolutely useless. Decisio, a horrendous tackle in my last game. Uh, straight red card, so he's going to be banned for the beginning of next season as well. Let's give McGinn a go instead of Moreno. In fact, let's play, try McGinn in the holding role. We'll give, we'll play Moreno because he's on a up. We'll give Vakut today um, a game as well. Another game, get him some experience points. We could do with resting Chester. Um, where's Elphick? Uh, Elphick's on a down red. Um, probably going to loan in a centre back next season, I think, as we're, I'm already starting to think and plan for next season. So we'll take Weir off the bench and put uh, Tishpola on there. He's He'll probably be going. Let's put Kabai on the bench as well for Grealish, just in case. Um, Davis, yeah, that'll do. That's a pretty mixed bench. We'll start Tierney and Green. Two and Zabi, Chester, Delat, Vercutte, McGinn, Isobi, Moreno, El Ghazi, Green, and Hogan up front. Down to a 58. Wow, that's uh, really bad. I might actually start Davis instead of Hogan because it doesn't change. The chemistry's poor. Hogan's knackered after international duty. So, right, that's what we'll go with. How are the teams looking? The kits are looking good. We're away. It's at the Forest the Forest Stadium. I was going to say there. That's not their stadium name. What? Where did Nottingham Forest play? Oh, my God. I've had a complete mind blank. It's really famous. We'll find out in a minute when it comes in with the highlights. But, yeah, we have got promoted to the Premier League. It was relatively simple, to be honest. We, we'll look at the schedule in a minute as we go through it. But here we go for the final game of the championship season. Our final game in the championship for at least 9 to 10 months unless we get relegated at the end of next season. Then uh, yeah, it's onwards and upwards we go. So remember to let me know if you think we should change the difficulty to superstar once we get promoted to make it a bit more realistic. So, you know, as we get in promoted, it will be harder to play against the same... Uh, no, sorry, the teams of the likes of Man United, Man City... And those sort of guys. I think it will be an added element of realism. I've played a bit of a superstar offline. So uh, I do I do sort of know the level. And I think it would be a bit more of a realistic battle. But obviously we don't know what sort of level the teams are going to be playing at anyway. So what we'll do is we're going to play this game. Which I'm talking over quite a lot of at the moment already. As Tierney gives that away. Um, we're going to play this game and then come back for the start of the off season where we also have a game against the old boys which i probably won't do highlights of um, i'll probably just play that one offline but we'll go through look at some stats for the teams and stuff and see where we need to invest get your ideas on where we should buy players and who we should look at and what signings and p positions and things like that what tactics do we want to do next year do we keep going trying to keep the possession baseball that we're doing is uh, a green could be in here swings across in low and there's Davis and it's one youngster to the other and we've got a 1-0 lead against Forrest which is absolutely epic Davis he's he's off he is actually off in the summer we've uh, already confirmed a deal to sell him so it's a parting gift to the fans there green we're keeping green at the moment because we don't actually have many options for left wing. At the moment, we're playing left backs at left wing. That's a great cross and some good movement from the attacker. We've got in front of his man and it's a lovely finish to make it 1-0 Villa. So here comes Villa again into Moreno. Round the corner to the goal scorer, Davis. He's got Moreno on a through ball. Moreno's in and scoots and scores. And it's 2-0. It's a goal for Davis. A goal for Moreno and an assist for Davis as well. Have we made a mistake in selling the youngster? I don't know, but he does very... He holds onto it, and I thought Moreno had gone offside. Pings that ball in, and then Moreno just tucks it underneath the onrushing goalkeeper. It's a very good finish, to be honest. It's a wonderful finish, and Davis here put a lot of power on that through ball. 
And uh, Moreno gets in and then first time just dinks it past Pantillamon in goal for Forrest. And it's 2-0 Villa. And uh, yeah, I think something we're going to have to think hard about going into the Premier League next season is this formation because it's very, very attacking. With the two attacking midfielders, it can leave, even in the Championship, we've seen... Um, like Kabai is the person that's played there the most. We've seen Kabai be quite isolated in this formation when, uh, the, when the the AI or the opposition launches people forward. Um, it's It has left that central midfielder a little bit isolated. So do we mix it up a little bit and go to a bit more of a traditional holding midfielder? Do we go to a 4-3-3 with two holding midfielders? I don't know. It's lots of things to consider. We'll have to see how the preseason goes and who we get drawn against in pre-season in the champion the, I assume we're going to be in the International Champions Cup again just because that's the trophy that's sponsored uh, Provo have got the rights to so I assume they'll be giving us uh, entry to that every single season in the Master League but we come away here Tierney's he's got Moreno in the middle he leads it off to Davis Davis goes back to Moreno sees the run on the far side Davis will bring that down though back into Moreno's path again he's bundled his way through and now goes wide to Isobe who holds this up and then Isobe goes back to Delap. Delac sees Moreno, back to Delac, or oh, he's let it go for El Ghazi. In it goes, looking for Davis, and it's a good header away. And uh, McGinn will try to keep this alive, but Delac just goes back to Chester, out to and Zavi, and Villa stay alive. So yeah, let me know what you think about the formation next year, because as I said, we've been caught out a couple of times with this formation in the championship, and I think it's going to be a whole other ball game when we get promoted. McGinn into Davis, to Moreno, back to Davis, if he can speed it through, he nearly did. It nearly got through, but Forrest just about hold on. And this is not a very good formation uh, uh, game Sorry, for Forrest at the moment. They aren't playing very well. Although they're stroking it around nicely here. Out to the right wing to find Sam Byram. Byram put under pressure. But Two and Zabie's there. Two and Zabie's been turned. It's a shot by Osborne. And Vakutre sees it goes past his post. Just had it, had it covered with the dive. But uh, yeah, we see here on the replay. Forrest, that's the best move Forrest have done in the whole game. He's put in here, flick backwards, and then just beat his man stretching on the shot. Means it curled past the post. And it's still 2-0 Aston Villa. Osborne's in behind, cuts it back, but Vercute dives on it. And that was never really any trouble for Villa. Forrest really haven't done much in this game at all. As Tierney is caught a little bit late there, but the referee didn't give a foul. It goes back to Jao Carvalho. Jao Carvalho up to Ward. Ward put under pressure by Tierney again. And look, swarming the ball. Great defensive play from Villa. As Tierney now may have just been pulled out of position. Carvalho into Osborne who shoots. Vercoutre holds on well to the ball. 2-0 Villa, 15 minutes to go in the first half. Moreno into Davis. Davis just looks to knock this back but it's a poor pass. And McGinn couldn't get there. It goes out to Osborne, up to McGinn, into Carvalho. Murphy on the turn to and Zabie's got to get back. He does. What a finish from Murphy. And he's fired that pass for Vercoutre to make it 2-1. That is an outstanding finish. From Murphy. I thought Tu and Zabi had just got back to cover him. As we saw there, Tu and Zabi discussing with Richie Delat about where that's gone wrong. But uh, yeah, it's here. Long ball forward into the back. 1 2. Murphy gets put in, and then it's a lovely left footed finish in off the inside of the post. And Fakutre has got absolutely no chance of that, not blaming the young goalkeeper at all. But it's uh, Aston Villa 2, or Nottingham Forest 1, Aston Villa 2. Forest are just finding their rhythm now. It's Dermisi, and the cross is blocked by Richie Delap. But yeah, Forest are stroking the ball around nicely now. They're still looking long when they have to. But uh, they're holding they're holding their own now against Villa. They just need to find this equaliser, Forest, if they can. Obviously, Villa don't want them to, and that's good defending. The, over, the pass was over here, and uh, Villa will look to continue their... Their battle with Forrest in the middle of the midfield. That's where it's going to be won and lost this game. As Tu and Zabi gets the short goal kick from Fakut today. Up to Tierney. Looks for McGinn. And McGinn gives it away. I don't know what I was thinking with that pass there. It goes through into Murphy. Who turns to and Zabi. Gets the wrong side of him. Lays it off to Ward. Who goes back into Murphy. He's one on one with Fakut today. But Murphy's fired this one wide. And from what I've seen, I'll suggest he's left footed after that finish for his goal. And then that on his right foot. But it was played very well here. Good little one-two from Ward and Murphy. And then he just pulls his shot wide of the post. Vakutre was quite good off his line. Narrowed down the angle well. And uh, we'll try and build this up again. Moreno, good little one-two agree. Now into Davis. Davis just holds this up. Goes back to McGinn. Who lays it back to Richie Delap. Back to McGinn. Into Isobe. Isobe to Davis. Davis to Moreno. He's just looking for runners. And there's not much on at the moment. So Green looks to turn back. He's not really got anything going for him. Up to Kieran Tierney, who's given him an overlap. 
Tierney uses his pace to accelerate away from the defender. Kieran Tierney fires it in low looking for Davis. But it's intercepted well. And Forrest cut that one out. But McGinn has put Carvalho under a lot of pressure. And then Murphy is the out ball. He holds it up well. And Forrest looking to build from the back. Tierney looks to feed in Davis. He's got the pace to get away from Worrell. Worrell who's actually Aston Villa interested in signing. The ball goes in looking for Isobe. That's a terrible, terrible header. I think he was just put off by the defender. But it's the ball down the line here to Davis. He gets away from Worrell using his pace, but has to cut back. Can't get the angle towards goal. First time cross, and then Isobi with an absolutely shocking header. Shocking. To Anzebi, wins the header very well. Into McGinn. McGinn out to Isobi on his right hand side. Davis out to El Ghazi. He's waiting for Isobi to keep that run going, and he does. Isobi, not normally a right winger, but can he put a good cross in? Looks to lift this one high up towards Moreno. There's a battle for it in the air, and. Uh, it's just Nottingham Forest just about winning. And it takes us to half time. And it is 2 1 Aston Villa. Goals in the 8th and the 12th minute. And then the 33rd minute, Murphy got one back for Forest. And Forest have had more shots, so they haven't really had the better of the game. But let's get into the second half and see what happens here. Are Forest going to make any changes? No changes for Aston Villa. And I don't think Forest are making a change either. As I say, it's been a quite even game as Villa dominated it at first. But Forest have. Managed to battle their world back into it. It does show good character for Forrest. As uh, Moreno gets this into Davis. Davis out to McGinn. Into Isobe. He's just looking for a run. Lays it off to El Ghazi. Back to Richie Delat, Who was the captain of this Villa team at one point. Moreno into Davis. Lays it off. Isobe look for the fierce shot. And McGinn looks to keep it alive. Isobe round the corner. But he's offside. And uh, Forrest hold on. It was a good block from the Forrest defence in there. And as you can see. McGinn just offside. Oh, sorry, Sobe just offside. And it's uh, Forrest coming forward. Ward looks to put it into Murphy again. Just hounded out of it by Chester. And then it's laid off well. Can Green get there? He does. He should have the pace here to just try and launch something. Davis, great little back heel into Moreno. Moreno tries to lay it back to Davis. And they've kept playing here. Sobe, good turn. Looks out wide, but Osborne intercepts that. Not a very good pass from Sobe. And Forrest look to come forward. Murphy into Carvalho. Carvalho turns, looks to go over the top towards Osborne. And El Ghazi just shields that out of play very well. And it'll be a goal kick to Aston Villa. Davis around the corner to Isobe. Isobe tackled by Bridcut. Isobe's, it's just his influence on the game is just waning a little bit now. I don't know if he's getting a little bit tired or, or maybe they're man marking him. But he's really not being able to get on the ball as much as I'd like him to. And, you know, when you've got someone like Raul Garcia who's only on loan, which is why he doesn't play in today's game, that's going to be quite a tough player to replace and Isobi's got to show me that he's up to the task when we go into the Premier League otherwise uh, he won't be much for this world at Villa as um, I think that was Isobi drew the foul there from Bridcut I think number 10 is for Nottingham Forest and uh, it's not it's Carvalho sorry and Isobi did well to draw the foul he's a big guy Isobi so I do want to keep hold of him and give him a chance he's a youngster with a lot of potential in the team let's fizz this one up into Davis and see what he can do in the air can he win the knockdown he can't Morel wins the header and uh, up it goes. Bridcut then brings this down. And it goes back to Figueredo, who just does Davis all hands up. I thought he was going to go back to the goalkeeper then. And they've actually worked this very well. It goes out to Murphy. He's got a lot of defenders chasing him. He's pulled a lot of people away. Out to Byron. Byron dinks this one in. Can Tierney win the header? He does. He had to win that. But Murphy's knocked it off Moreno. And it's a good save from Vacutre. And Delat touches horrendous. And they get a corner from it. And it was a good ball in this on the wing. Sam Byron dinked the ball in. He won it there. Just won it off Moreno. And Vakutre got a good strong hand to it. Um, and again, I think we're going to be looking for a new first team goalkeeper next year. Vakutre will probably be my backup. And we might look to move Nyland on. I just don't think Nyland will have the, the quality we require in the Premier League. As uh, Villa are going to have to get this away. Dermisi with a shot. And Vakutre. Everyone just seemed to stand and watch that. But Vakutre was... Had his wits about him and made a good save. Davis knocks it down to Isobi. Now, is there a, a counter-attack on here? Straight away for Villa. El Ghazi into Isobe. Round the corner. Looking for Davis. And that's what I mean by Isobe. He really has struggled in this second half to have any impact on the game. And we may have to look to bring on a substitute. As Tuan Zabi goes back to Verkut today. And uh, Aston Villa just looking to build this from the back. El Ghazi into Isobe. Who probably will be coming off anytime soon. Davis looks to turn. His first touch wasn't the best. Still gets it out to El Ghazi, who gets it back with a fortunate little one too. Davies into Isobi. Is his final first thinking to be a goal? No. He's really, really cocked that first touch up and given away an opportunity. And he is annoying the manager 
somewhat right now. He is proving to not be Raul Garcia Mark II. He's proving to be more like Jemba Jemba. That's the first person that comes to my mind. His second half has been similar to Jemba Jemba's career at both Man United and actually Aston Villa as well. I forgot that Jemba Jemba had a period of time at Aston Villa. But Davis looks to play it into green. Tierney jumps over it, but the defender didn't fall for it. And now Ward comes forward. He's got a runner in Murphy. And I do realise I've commentated quite a lot of this game. But there it runs out of play. We're going to take Isobe off. We'll give Raul Garcia his final game for the club. His final competitive game for the club. Because Raul Garcia will probably feature against the old boys testimonial game. As Tuan Zabi just gets this into Chester's feet. And he'll go out to the lap. And uh, Villa have got massive of a space here on the right hand side. To El Garza who sees the run of Davis. But he just delayed the pass a little bit too late. And the defender managed to get back as uh, Nottingham Forest build it with Bridka into Darkwa, Dariqua, and uh, here they come again. Oh, they've played it well. Oh, Delat's got to get back to Osborne and does. He covers it very well. Chester into McGinn, who's had a quiet little game in this. Oh, Raul Garcia, that's terrible. That's like Jemba Jemba as well. Murphy. Murphy, can he beat his man? No, he can't. Two and Zabi just showing his force. But Watson picks it up. McGinn with a great tackle. And now there's a counter-attack on here. For Villa, he's waiting for Davis to make that run. He obviously is tired and can't. And it's a poor pass. And this whole game has gone to a bit of a shambles now. Neither team really taking control. And uh, there hasn't been really any opportunities on goal that I can think noteworthy in this second half. A couple from Forest, but Villa have not really struggled to do anything. Moreno sees lots of space for Green on the left-hand side. Can the youngster do something worthwhile? He looks for an early ball into Davis. Comes out to Moreno. Goes back to Garcia. And even Garcia, I mean, that's terrible decision-making. It's terrible attacking play. And it's left Aston Villa very vulnerable. And I do not do not want to end the season without a win. A win is what I want. Ward holds it up into Carvalho. Round the corner to Osborne. And what a foot-in from Chester that was. Otherwise, that was Murphy through one-on-one. -on -one and probably a goal. So Scott Hogan comes on to replace Davis up front. Uh, just want to give Dave uh, Hogan a chance, really. Because he's not had that much football this year. And uh, straight away, he could be in. But he was, I know he's got a lot of pace. He's an, an Irish international or a Northern Irish international. Apologies, I'm not too sure which one. Tierney's now got to get back at Ward. He's got a free run into some space on the right-hand side. Back to Darwika. That is a terrible pass. You can tell people are playing like it's the last game of the season. It's a dead rubber. Literally, people can't pass like 10 yards towards each other on either team. That's not just Forrest. That's me as well. Hogan, back to Tierney. Back into Hogan again. Round the corner to Garcia. And Garcia is just going to absolutely lace one. Oh, it's not far past the post, you know. That was a good effort there. It was, uh, it was good little football here from Villa. But Raul Garcia just thought, you know what, I'll sign off to the Villa fans. And he's hit it. He's hit it dead centre. It didn't spin at all. And it's gone just past the post. Up comes McGinn. He's got a lot of space to run into. McGinn fancies a go. What a tackle from Figoda. Oh, Figueroa. Figueroa. I think you guys are all starting to understand that pronouncing names isn't my forte and if you want it to be even more hilarious go to uh go and watch some of my football manager videos because they are ridiculous for pronunciation of names i just struggle with every single sort of foreign name and the fact i've moved to singapore probably makes it even more hilarious with pronouncing your names so again that's a great header down from moreno into hogan back to moreno and he's just waiting for a run I, hogan gets his way through and his shot goes just past the post and we'll look to make our Final substitution. I can't remember who's on the bench. Um, who do we want to give a final song song to? I'll tell you what. Let's give, yeah. We'll do Moreno for Tish Bola. Because he's another one. We haven't seen too much of him this season. And he's probably going to be moved on in the summer. I can't remember. I think he might have already had a, a move agreed as well in the summer. But the ball goes forward. And uh, Chester will look to knock this one back sensibly. He does the two and Zabi. And Tishbola gets his first touch of the ball. Raul Garcia up to Hogan. Tierney sees the run of Green. The youngster's in. He's been very good today. He's going to shoot from a tight hack. <laughs> what a horrendous shot for him, Andre Green. Oh, he did well to get into the space. Good ball through from Tierney. And I just thought what I'd try, what I honestly thought I'd do is try and lash this past the goalkeeper at the near post. But uh, yeah, that, that didn't happen. Dariqua, good ball down the line to Brereton. Brereton cuts back inside, finds Murphy. Great block, that. And uh, El Ghazi will get there. He overhits the pass to McGinn. And there's two minutes of injury time to go. And Forrest are trying to break through. But Vakuchde will pick that up rather easily. Gives it to Richie Delap. And can 
Villa just go and get one more goal up to Garcia Garcia looks for the run of Hogan Hogan holds this up but not very well he's tackled that should be the game unless Forrest have a sting in their tail here great tackle from Tuan Zabi and there we go Tuan Zabi applauds the fans Aston Villa get the 2-1 win on the last day of the season they go up to the Premier League finishing second place in the championship it's the end of the season there's hugs all around for all the players and uh, the cameras come in to have a look and there we go the players are just you know applauding the fans happy with the support they've had this season the fans are going to be delighted with the promotion they couldn't quite nick first place from Stoke City but Aston Villa come away with a 2-1 win on the day against Forest and uh, let's see what that does to the table there you go five points it finished behind Stoke City who got a remarkable 99 points um, Aston Villa have the second best goal difference in the season with 41 goals or a 41 plus goal difference Stoke City getting 50 we actually only scored one less than Stoke but we conceded eight more which we need to try and sort out uh, as you can see that against 50 is actually the highest up until Nottingham Forest in ninth uh, Leeds United are coming up with us in the playoffs will be Middlesbrough v Derby Bristol City v Blackburn as well Swansea finishing in eighth position which is a bit disappointing and at the bottom of the table is Rotherham Ipswich Town and Birmingham City now there isn't any relegation in the bottom league of Master League so Birmingham City will be staying in the championship next season um, here is the end of month report as well. Two games, two 2-1 two, wins. El Ghazi, Davis and Abraham all getting one goal. Grealish, Green and Davies all in the assist as well. And then the average rating, Davis, Abraham and Grealish getting up there. We've been playing okay. A bit less possession this month. Um, short passing has, has increased a little bit. All out defence and conservative aggression sort of bang in the middle for those. We haven't used any defensive instructions. Frontline pressure and aggressive um, have been the best defensive approaches we've used. Possession game and short passing, hug the touchline and the false fullbacks. Possession wise, we've averaged 53% possession for the month, which is very, very good. Scoring early goals and nothing really coming in the second half. Only one goal in the second half scored in the whole of the month. Although it's only two games, but both, uh, two goals scored from three balls, two goals conceded from three balls, and then play area, as you can see, mainly down the middle, focusing a little bit more on the right hand side as well. Um, and then as we see here, the interesting one I'm up for is Aerial Battles 1, Elphick and Two and Zabi winning 6 Aerial Battles is really impressive, uh, really impressive. Passes successfully made, we have Tierney up there actually, it was a success rate of 85%, Richie Delat 100% success rate, which is incredible, 25 passes attempted in the month, 25 made. Uh, and two and Xavier there as well, 93. Moreno looked to up that on 76, but he is waning a little bit in his like talent at the moment. It's decreasing quite a lot. The Sky Bet Championship team of the season. Look at that. We get Kabai, Moreno, and Tammy Abraham in there. Leeds getting three players in. Middlesbrough with Braithwaite up front. Ledley and Huddleston from Derby and Butland and Shawcross from Champion. Oh well, the champions of the Prem Championship, Stoke City. As we go into the new, so two and Xavier is increasing. Quite a lot, which is good. Decidio has trained with his mindset on cross specialist. He will be leaving the club as well. And that is the end of the first season of Master League. And it's been going very well. We are the Premier League. An offer Scott Hogan has been received from Dopatiz to Lima. We're taking a look at our contract with Kabai. There's a chance another club may, may seek to pay his release fee in full to snatch away. I'm not too fussed with that. And they've offered us a contract extension. Please respond to this offer by going to list of offers. So... We get a little bit more money in there. If we look first off... Oh, we can select a new favourite player. That's 100%. Going to be Tammy Abraham, even if we can't keep him. So, uh, we got the complete... 46%. Is that it? 46%. I just got us bloody promoted. You thought it would be better than that. Uh, management career. Manager's offers. Club teams. Renew the contract. Contract. Extend your tenure as Aston Villa manager for another year. Yes, please. There we go. People, hopefully you guys are happy that I'm extending my contract to Aston Villa. Leave me a comment down below. Leave a like if you're enjoying the series um, and the, enjoyed this as well. But yeah, let's have a look into the database. Competition info. I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to see, can I see the standings? Yes, who has been relegated? Man City won it. Tottenham in second. Chelsea third and Man United fourth. Have they finished all their games? 29, 34, 38. Yes, they have. So Man City have won it. Who is getting relegated? Cardiff, Burnley and Fulham. Now, hopefully, oh, if I can nick Mitrovic and Sessegnon from Fulham, 
That would be remarkable. I really want those two players. Um, what is it telling me that I've got to check out in it? I don't know why that's saying I've got oh, off-season match testimony. Participate. So who, this is who's playing in the old boys game. Buffon, De Rossi, Lilic, Kelovic, Michael Dawson will turn up. Negredo, Anderson, Cra Peter Crouch will be there. That is a weird team. But yeah, it's still saying I've got to look at something in there. I'll find it later. So favourite players, let's go and select a second favourite player. It, oh, Timothy Weir, it could be Weir. But I think it's going to have to be Tammy Abraham because he is he has been absolutely incredible. So we'll pick Tammy Abraham as our favourite player. We do have a negotiation from my team. We got an offer for Scott Hogan. They've offered slightly more than his, uh, than his uh, market value. Let's see if we can just... I mean, what's that? That's an extra 200 grand. Have they got anybody that's worth... That wants to move to us? Rubio. 35. No. No, they don't look like it. We're trying... If it was certain that we were getting another striker in for next year, I would have accepted it. But we don't know what's happening yet next year. Um, so we'll just continue this on. Tammy Abraham will be selected in my favourite players. And we should hope... We're like, will we get a nice cut? See, national team squads... Are announced. The window isn't open just yet. As uh, there he is, Tammy Abraham is a favourite player of Cultured Left Foot in this save, and he has been superb in this season. And I hope, I just hope he can do it in the Premier League as well. I think it makes sense to keep him. Oh, Cabizon from St Mirren. Now I don't really want to sell Cabizon because he's very, very good. No players are absent. Yeah, there we go. Um, we owe the skip. Tommy Abraham spoke to us about his relationship with his manager, culturally effort. Tactically, he's second to none. That's why it's easy to get his power and his approach to the game. Well, we'll have to see about that because tactically, we might be we may be found out in the Premier League. As uh, we'll look at Cabezon's what they what they offered. I've just immediately gone to it. They've offered slightly more. I'm just going to reject that because he's a very good player for the future, Cabezon. So we're just going to move it forward a little bit more. Um, forward in time. Next, there we go. Good to see Tammy Abraham talking nicely about me, though. That is wonderful. So, club ranking update. Do we get any movement in the rankings? Um, we've got a new player brought to our attention. So, let's go and check that out. Scouting. Um, again, they're sort of all mediocre players. No one to really... 32 as well. I should probably just put them to do youth players, to be honest. Uh, Kenny. Tor Torj. Yeah. So John Joe Kenny's moved to St. Etienne. Interesting. Um, players to watch here. Who are they? They D D Latalak. Is that Anthony Latalak's brother? Twenty nine. Uh, and then Robert Hoof, thirty five year old. Why would I sign a thirty five year old centre back? That is beyond me. So imagine, my favourite players and Tammy Abraham is in there as well. The net burster, Tammy Abraham. And Two and Zabi is there. He doesn't have. Oh, Two and Zabi doesn't have a nickname. That's disappointing. So Sky. Obviously, Tammy Abraham getting the into the Skybet Championship team of the season as well, which is. Really good news for him and good news for us because it shows that we're progressing along nicely. Job offers, club teams. Well, I've been offered the position at Stoke City. That is bizarre. That is not an offer I thought I would have ever had. At the moment, we're we're sticking with Villa. We're sticking with Villa until until it all goes tits up at Villa. We're going to stick here, and we got more negotiations in the Hogan transfer. Uh, they've upped it to 4846, except, yeah, I'm happy with that. I think we can get a better striker in for four for 4.8 million, to be honest. I think we can. So we'll forward the time and just see if there's anything else to be announced. Taylor has decreased. Taylor is a guy I'm probably going to look to move on. And we've got the testimonial now. So I think what we'll do is we'll end the episode there, and it'll be a slightly shorter one. It'll be great to see Booth on there. Uh, this team are going to be good. It's going to be a good game. I might do this one on Superstar to see how I get on and see how it plays. Um, and just to make sure that it's not a completely stupid idea. But uh, yeah, so we'll leave this video there. It's a slightly shorter one. We can say we're going up to the Premier League. Leave us a like for getting up to the Premier League, which is great. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys. It's an absolute pleasure. Loving this series. I hope you are below. Let me know below if you're really enjoying the series. Leave a comment and just say, I'm loving it. We'll go a bit McDonald's. Just say, I'm loving it. And uh, for now, thank you very much for watching. But I'm out. Cheers.